today we're going to be looking at polynomial functions and rational functions, and first we're going to look at the differences between them. The polynomial function is smooth and continuous with varying degrees, exponents, and constants, while the rational function has two polynomials in the numerator and the denominator, and has asymptotes on the graph, which basically means that you can get as close the asymptote as you want, but you cannot get exactly on it. Now that that's out of the way, let's take more of a deeper dive into the graphs themselves. The polynomial graph, as shown here, has an absolute minimum, an absolute maximum, and a local minimum. Along with this, the graph is smooth and continuous with m behaviors of, as x nears negative infinity, f of x, or basically y, nears positive infinity, and as x nears positive infinity, f of x nears positive infinity. Now let's take a look at the rational function graph. The dictionary definition of a rational function states that a rational function is any function that can be defined by a rational fraction, which is an algebraic fraction such as both the numerator and denominator are polynomials. So basically, in this graph, as you can see, it has vertical and horizontal asymptotes where the lines do not cross. There are breaks in the graph. Not in this example, but rational functions can also have holes in the graph. See, now you may be asking, when will I ever use this in real life? Well, I've got examples to show you. Let's take a real life example of polynomial functions. So let's first think about the economy before we even think about it as a polynomial for a second. The economy fluctuates up and down and is continuous, and it wouldn't really make sense if there was a break in the graph because the economy just doesn't stop. Along with this, medical fields also use polynomial functions a lot. They use polynomials to keep patients' progress records and to determine schedules. Let's take the example of tracking a sick patient's weight. We'll use the equation, shown on screen, with a W expressing weight and N being the number of weeks since the illness. Once you put this into the graphing calculator, it gives you the visual representation of the polynomial function and how it helps us. Rational functions are mainly used to predict outcomes rather than track things. Although this example is extremely popular and overdone, I think it perfectly expresses rational functions in a real life situation. I didn't make this question, but let's use our own numbers and variables for it. Midway High School is organizing an event for the student athletes. The planning committee decides to rent a large space and get the meals catered. The venue costs $800 and each meal is an additional $25. To honor the seniors that are graduating, there are five, they get to have their meal for free. Instead, their meals will be included in the total cost to the committee. Remember that the committee does not want to make profit just to break even. So first, let's take a look at this table that I've made. The first question I want to ask is what is the actual like equation itself to find the cost per paying student athlete? So it would be f of x equals 800 plus 25x divided by x minus 5 the five being the seniors. Also, just by looking at this equation, we know that there is a vertical asymptote at five because of what is in the denominator, which is x minus five. So that, if we were trying to find the domain, it would be x is greater than five, because let's think about it just in a real life situation. If less than five people were to show up, how would the committee even pay for it? To find the horizontal asymptotes, we look at the degree of the numerator versus the degree of the denominator. And in this specific case, they are the same, so we take the ratio of both coefficients. The horizontal asymptote for this specific case would be 25, but what does that actually mean in real life? This asymptote demonstrates how the cost per person will never ever reach $25, but it may get really close to it depending on the amount of people. It will never touch 25 or go beyond $25. Alright, so now for the summary. Polynomials are smooth and continuous with varying degrees, constants, and exponents. Rational functions have asymptotes and has a polynomial in both the numerator and the denominator. A real life example of polynomial function would be the economy because of how it is smooth and continuous and the economy never stops so there cannot be a break in the graph. Another example of this would be how the medical field uses polynomial functions to keep track of progress, records, and schedules. Example of tracking weight from a patient uses the equation listed to do so. Then the rational function example shows a question of students being at a dinner provided by a committee, and you have to calculate the various costs. The vertical asymptote is x is greater than five in this case, saying that if less than five people show up, it cannot be paid for at all. Then the horizontal asymptote in this case is 25, 
showing that the price for each person cannot be equal to or less than 25. So that is what the asymptote represents.